now there are two sides to a placket now you need one small strip to turn the one side in to have a smooth edge so as to cover these open edges and the other will now overlap on it to give you what you want so now he's going to start to work on the smaller edge of the placket Now this is going to be sewn against Now he has stitched this up to the point of the slash So just watch carefully what he does and you can try do that on your own at this point he's going to clip triangularly he's not clipping straight it's a triangular cut so that it's easy for him to turn the edge in open it up a bit let them see can you see can you see the way he slashed through it's like a triangular cut towards the point where he's stitched. Now he's going to use that to turn the edge in. Because it was a triangular cut he had, it was so easy for him to maneuver the fabric to the other side with the triangular cut. So now he wants to stitch down to close the edge Now you can see what he was able to achieve from that turning. Now he will place the other end, the other piece of fabric against the other side to finish up the placket. Now he's doing the same triangular cut which he had at the other side on this other piece too for him to be able to maneuver the fabric to close properly. Stay stitching the inseam before he will finally close the placket. This is already looking very good. Now he's going to start the stitching from where the slash is and sew against the body.
now he's stitching up above where the slash is and then you can see the way he's treating the corners of the placket he's just folding it into a triangular pointed edge Yes. And you just stitch in that direction. Now that he has stitched to this point, he has come back to the point where he had those slashes and is going to stitch across. Having done that, open up you can see the opening that he's been able to create that is on the one side of the sleeve now we're going to insert the cuff of the sleeve to make it a complete sleeve 